Hadithi 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 njo Hadithi 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 njo Paukwa Pakawa Sahadi Ya mchele Giza Ya mwizi Moko Ya mtoto mkorofi Alta Can I tell you a story? Get on with this Get on with this Gimicha moe mari ni gimodo kiri kigen. Gimicha moe mari ni gimodo kiri kigen. A bird in hand is worth more than two in the bush. Gimicha moe mari ni gimodo kiri kigen. 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 A bird in hand is worth more than two in the bush. Uh, thank you, thank you, and welcome to another edition of Fishmonger Stories. Uh, my name is George, uh, but I go by the name Fishmonger Stories. Uh, today, I have uh, five itty pity African riddles to see if you are smarter uh, than an average African child. After the five riddles, we go into an African story. Hadithi 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 njo Hadithi 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 njo Paukwa Pakawa Sahadi Ya mchele Giza Ya mwizi Moko Ya mtoto mkorofi Alta Can I tell you a story? Get on with this Get on with this Hopi uyaide Hopi uyaide But first things first, don't forget to subscribe to Fishmonger Stories, like, leave a comment right here on YouTube, not on Facebook, right here after you watch, like, leave a comment and share uh, these stories with friends, uh, family members, relatives, anybody who could use a story. Are you ready? Are you ready for uh, five itty pity African riddles? I want you to think like an African. I don't want you to think like a European. No, I don't want you to think like an Asian. I don't want you to think like a Chinese. I don't want you to think like, no, I want you to think like an African child. Are you ready for these riddles? Are you ready? Riddle number one. Riddle number one. What four things always uh, uh, chase after one another, but they never overtake one another. What four things always uh, chase after one another, but they never overtake one another? What four things always uh, chase after one another, but they never overtake one another? What four things always uh, chase after one another, but they never overtake one another? If you said, the four tires in a car, yes, round and round. They always oh, 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 run after one another, but they never overtake one another. I want you to think like an African child. I want you to think like a Somalian child. I want you to think like a Kenyan. I want you to think like a Tanzanian. Are you ready for riddle number two? Which tire uh, does not turn right? When the car uh, turns right, which tire does not turn left? When the car turns left, 
which tire does not turn right when the car turns right? Or which tire does not turn left when the car turns left? Yes, the answer is what? Yes, the spare tire. Yes, the spare tire does not turn right. The spare tire does not turn left when the car turns right or left. The spare tire stays where the spare tire stays. Are you are you getting it? Are you getting it? We are getting warmed up. Riddle number three. I have a head. I have a tail, but I have no body. Who am I? I have a head. I have a tail, but I do not have a body. Who am I? I have a head. I have a tail, but I don't have a body. Who am I? I'll give you a clue. I'm probably in your pocket right now, in your wallet somewhere. Yes, or in your piggy bank. I have a head. I have a tail. Yes, but I have no body. The answer is the coin. Riddle number four. You turn me and everything outside cannot come in. You turn me again and everything inside cannot go out. Who am I? You turn me and everything outside cannot come in. You turn me and everything inside cannot go out. Who am I? You turn me. Everything outside cannot come in. You turn me again and everything inside cannot go out. Who am I? You turn me and everything outside cannot come in. You turn me again and everything inside cannot go out. Who am I? If you say the key, you are correct. You turn the key and everything outside cannot come in. You turn the key again and everything inside cannot go out unless you open the door. The key. The answer is the key. Are you ready for the final riddle? What gets wetter and wetter even as it dries? What gets wetter and wetter even as it dries? What gets wetter and wetter even as it dries? What's the answer? I've shared this riddle before so many times. You ought to know this. Yes, your towel gets wetter and wetter even as it dries. Yes. Are you ready for some stories? Are you ready for some stories? Hadithi Hadithi! Hadithi Njo! Hadithi Hadithi! Hadithi Njo! Paukwa! Pakawa! Sahadi! Yamchele! Giza! Yamwizi! Kiboko! Yamtoto Mkorofi! Alta! Can I tell you a story? Get on with this! Get on with this! today is about a famous African character who is not named Anansi. You see, Anansi the spider has its origin in West Africa. In West Africa, Anansi the spider, especially in Ghana, is a trickster. Anansi the spider tricks other animals. Sometimes his trickeries get the best of him. But Anansi is known all over the world as a trickster. But when you come to East Africa, we have a different uh, trickster. His name is Sungura Mjanja, or known as a Rabbit, or known as the Air. Yes, in East Africa, Sungura Mjanja, Sungura the Rabbit, is a trickster. My story today is about uh, uh, the Rabbit, or the Air. And the tortoise. Are you ready for this story? Can I tell you a story? Hope you ride it. Hope you ride it. Hope you ride it. Look at me. Hope you ride it. Hope you 
Friday. Hope you hear day. Look at my. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Look at me. Let me impart uh, some wisdom. Let me impart uh, some stories unto you. Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a, a beautiful, a beautiful day. Oh, or the the air or the rabbit was going to cook a delicious meal. Yes. Oh, it was a beautiful day, and he had prepared his flour. He was going to cook ugali or hot water cornbread or the African bread. He was going to mix the sorghum, millet, cassava, and maize flour to make this ugali. He was also going to cook this African vegetable known as a sokoyo koto. Eh, sokoyo koto. Or like, more or less like the African spinach. Oh, sokoyo koto is so good. Oh, it is, it is the vegetable that is said makes a man's face uh, turn rosy. If you know, oh, you know. If you don't know, ask your mother. Or you can Google it. Sokoyo koto, the African vegetable that makes a man's face Tan rosy. Yes! Uh, Bra Rabbit was also going to make Omena the fish. Yes! Omena the fish is that small fish uh, found in Lake Victoria. Oh, Omena, you can boil it, you can fry it. But today, Bra Rabbit was going to make a fried Omena the fish. It's so crunchy. He was going to eat it with ugali and dip some of it in the sokoyo koto and just crunch away with the omena. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something about the smell of omena. Oh, when you cook omena, omena has such a, a strong aromatic smell uh, that uh, can go all the way uh, from Timbuktu. The way to Angola Musumbiji. Oh, the smell of Omena. If you're cooking it in Bombay, Maharashtra, it will go all the way to Agra UP. Oh, the smell of Omena. If you're cooking it in New York City, it will go all the way to Hawaii. That's how aromatic the smell of Omena is. Omena has a very strong aroma. <laughs> Are you ready for a story? Can I tell you a story about uh, uh, Bra Rabbit and the tortoise? And how Bra Rabbit was going to cook this delicious ugali. Oh, and Sokoyo Koto and Omena. He got everything ready. And because he was afraid that the smell was going to permeate the neighborhood, guess what Bra Rabbit did? He shut down his windows and he shut. His, his door shut down the drapes and close the door so that no smell could permeate and the neighbors would come knock on his door to bother him because he wanted to eat all these delicacies all by himself yes oh! anybody to come and bother him when he was going to enjoy this food that he was going to make from the bottom of his heart. <laughs> Guess what? As he started cooking, oh, the ugali, the sokoyo koto, sokoyo koto, the vegetable that makes a man's face go rosy. Oh, and the omena, the smell filled up this house. And before you know it, the smell started to seep out through the walls. Yes, that's how the smell of Omena is so aromatic. It seeped out little by little outside into the neighborhood. But deep, deep somewhere in the jungle, was a tortoise. The tortoise, he had uncanny uh, uh, sense of smell. He could smell the smallest detail and he smelled the smell of Omena hit his nostrils. 
And he was stirred up and he started to follow the smell. And he said, wherever this smell comes from, if I can just uh, follow this smell, I will find uh, something to eat. And he started coming slowly. Kukuru, kukuru, kukuru. Kukuru, following the smell of the omena. Kukuru, following the smell of Sokoyokoto. Kukuru, following the smell of Ugali. Kukuru, Kukuru. He came, he came till his nostrils led him to the doorstep of Bra Rabbit. Right before he knocked the door, Bra Rabbit had already set up the Ugali. He had already he set up the Sokoyokoto. He had already he set up the Omena. All he was going to do was crunch on the Omena and take a, a big piece of Ugali, then on, 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 on the Sokoyokoto and chase down the Omena and take the crunchy Omena and take a piece of the Ugali and then on the Sokoyokoto and chase down the Omena and take a crunchy omena, a grab a piece of the ugali, nino on the sokoyo court and chase down the omena. He was just about to start eating when knock on the door. on my door when I'm about to eat this delicious ugali sofa your porto and omena. He opened the door and guess who was standing there? Yes, the tortoise with a big smile saying, My brother, my steps have been ordered right here to your doorsteps. May I come in and partake with you? And Bra Rabbit, he said, show me your hands. And he showed him his hands. And his hands were dead. And Bra Rabbit said, I would love for you to eat with me. But my, your, my brother, your hands are dirty. Please, go to the nearest river. Wash your hands as quickly as you can. And come back and partake with me. Oh, when uh, the tortoise had this. Oh, kukuru kakara. 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 All the way to the river. When he got to the river, he washed his hands. He started to wash his hands as quickly as he could. And then he turned around and kukuru kakara. Kukuru kakara. Kukuru kakara. Kukuru kakara. And you know the tortoise can only move so fast. Kukuru kakara. Kukuru kakara. He came, knocked on the door. Bra Rabbit opened the door and he said, Okay, I wash my hands. I'm ready to partake with you. Show me your hands, please. As he soon as he opened his eyes, hands, and Bra Rabbit said, Look at your hands. They're dirtier now than they were before. Please. I can't eat with you when you have daddy hands. Please go back to the river and wash your hands again. He looked at his hands and truly his hands were dirty. And so he turned around and kukuru kakara, kukuru kakara. Meanwhile, while he was gone, oh, bra rabbit, he started feasting on the ugali and sokoyo koto and omena. Ugali, sokoyo koto and omena. Ugali, sokoyo koto and omena. Ugali Sokoyo Koto and Omena. Ugali Sokoyo Koto and Omena. Oh, the tortoise. Can I tell you a story? The tortoise, this time, he washed his hands so fast. He washed his hands so fast and turned around and kukuru kakara, 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 kukuru kakara. He came and he knocked on the door. This time, the food was almost halfway gone. And Bra Rabbit, he opened the door and said, show me your hands. He showed him his hands. And his hands were dirtier the second time around. And said, brother, if you want to partake with me, you have to have clean hands, please. And the tortoise, he turned around and kukuru kakara, kukuru kakara, kukuru kakara, back to the river. This time when the tortoise go to the river, he washed not just his hands, but he poured water all over his body because he didn't want to take any chance. Oh, meanwhile, back in the house, oh, bra rabbit, he was ugali, niño on the sokoyokoto, omena, ugali, sokoyokoto, omena, ugali, sokoyokoto, omena. Oh, the tortoise said, this time, I have to walk, uh, not on the dusty road, but I have to walk on the grass. 
He started to walk on the grass and avoid the, the dusty uh, pathway. He tried as much as he could. Uh, but as he walked on the grass, the grass was wet. Yes, the grass was wet. And when he got to the doorway, this time, oh, his hands and his feet were clean. And he knocked on the door. As soon as uh, Brother Rabbit opened the door and looked at his hands, his hands were a little bit cleaner because he walked on the grass. But when he looked inside, all the Ugali, gone. All the Sokoyo Koto, gone. All the Omena, gone. Ladies and gentlemen, Brother Rabbit, he looked at his friend, the tortoise, and said, my brother, you have to be careful out there. You have to be careful out there. I'm sorry, but the food is gone. The tortoise felt so bad. And this story could end right here, but we are not going to end it here. Because if we end it here, the bra rabbit does not learn a lesson. And so the tortoise said, no problem, my brother. Next week, I will cook peanut butter soup, also known as my... And everybody in the whole jungle knew how sweet the Magira was. Oh, the Magira was so sweet. And the best cook for Magira was the tortoise. Oh, the tortoise was going to cook the Magira. And he invited uh, uh, Rabbit and said, next week, uh, please come and visit me. I will cook for you, <laughs> Magira. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, which one of you has ever visited the tortoise? Have you? I have. Yes, the tortoise, he lives deep, deep inside the water. And you have to be a good swimmer uh, to visit the tortoise. You have to go to the, uh, the river or the lake where he lives and, and take a deep breath, uh, uh, fill up your lungs and dive inside the water to blue. All your breath. And when you get to the bottom, eat as fast as you can and come out. And take a, a breath of fresh air. That's how you visit with the tortoise. Take a deep breath, uh, fill up your lungs and dive. Hold your breath. When you get down there, eat as fast as you can and jump up. And out of the water and take another breather. Oh, and so the rabbit, he got uh, to the river and he took a deep breath, filled up his lungs. And he jumped inside the water to blue. His, his, his breath long enough to even uh, take a scoop of, of Magira. He said, okay, I'll try again this time. Meanwhile, while he was uh, uh, catching up his breath, oh, the tortoise deep inside the, uh, the river was eating the Magira soup. Oh, oh the, the rabbit, he took a deep breath, held his breath and jumped inside the water to blow. He could not hold his breath for that long. Every time he came up, the tortoise was eating the Magira soup. This time, the Magira soup was almost half gone. And this time, the rabbit was short of breath. He said, I have to get back down there. And he took another deep breath, filled up his lungs, and he jumped. Oh. Mm. Ah. 
He came out of the water because he could not hold his breath for that long. His small lungs could not hold his breath for that long. Meanwhile, uh, the tortoise uh, finished all the peanut butter soup and came up out of the water and looked at Brer Rabbit. And he said, be careful out there, my brother. Be careful out there. once shame on you fool me twice shame on me uh, thank you thank you for watching fishmonger stories don't forget to subscribe like leave a comment and if this uh, this uh, this uh, this stories are blessing you please share with others who, who are the children adults who might love who are uh, children at heart and love stories share with other family members uh, friends and relatives share share uh, share don't forget to leave a comment right here on youtube not on facebook not on whatsapp but right here on youtube Until I see you again, I want to say Asante Sana, Obrigado, uh, Gracias, Shukriya, Arigato, Danke Shen, Mexi, Katonda, Aku Usekere. Gimicha moe mari ni gimodo kiri kigen. 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 Gimicha moe mari ni gimodo kiri kigen.